I have been mostly using AWS Cloud to deploy the large language models and to play around with them. I recently stumbled upon this run pod GPU cloud, and it is quite interesting. And the most fascinating thing about it is that they are utilizing the GPU instances just for the purposes of LLMs. Plus they have, they have been sort of exclusive for the AI, which is really great to see. And this tells you how much generative AI is evolving and how much rapidly. Now, this RunPod is a cloud computing platform which is primarily designed for artificial intelligence and machine learning applications, as I mentioned earlier. Their offerings include GPU instances, serverless GPUs, and also the AI endpoints. AI endpoints are simply fully managed AI endpoints for different providers like Stable Diffusion, Whisper, and many more. And you can go to the, your, their website, which is displayed on your screen, and learn more about it. Now, their plans are actually quite economical to given the how expensive the GPU instances are and all the other stuff which goes around these machine learning equipment. For instance, their GPU instances allow you to deploy container-based GPU instances that spin up merely in seconds using both public and private repos. You can use two flavors in them. One is secure cloud and the other one is community cloud. Okay, uh, as you can see on your screen, and there's a difference between uh, two, for example, the secure cloud runs in T3, T4 data center, providing high reliability and security, whereas the community cloud connects individual compute providers to consumer through a vetted secure peer-to-peer -peer systems. Okay, and then as you can see on your screen, the, the CLI utility for run pod is run pod CTL. And with that, you can easily create pods with simply the image names and you specify GPU type, how many GPUs do you need, and then the name for it. And it also it creates it and gives you the pricing. And as you can see, if we create it with two GPUs and the GPU type is NVIDIA RT6, uh, A6000, then it is simply under a dollar per hour. And then it go, you can get the with pods are running and then you can stop them and remove them. Seems like it is running on Kubernetes behind the scenes. So it would be interesting to learn more about its backend infrastructure. But anyway, I haven't gone through their documentation detail yet. If I do and if I find anything um, about their underlying infrastructure, I will let you know. Okay. And then um, there are different APIs which you can use, but all in all, seems like a great tool to me if you don't want to go full blown with the AWS and you want to be exclusively using AI services or ML services on a cloud. And I will definitely post the link to the website in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any feedback, please put it in the comments. Thank you.